In my last video on this marble lifter, uh, I showed, you know, how that was put together and how it works. The only thing uh, I made change is I added these two little donuts here. One to the uh, in-feed and one to the out. Uh, because of this pin here, I need to be able to get the module right up against here. So, that's still working. As you can see, now the bases for the different modules that will fit on here are 7x7 seven seven and I've got these two locator pins. But, uh, I wanted just a quickie little module to make to test this out make sure that this part here is working. So I built this. Uh, it's just a little zigzag. Uh, and the marbles coming out of here will go through here, come out here, and back through here. Now this, I didn't use the locator pins on this one because it's just a test module and this will be set up like so and then uh, I've got the ball bearings here Now I've got the marbles loaded in there and I can uh, turn it on now and you can see how the marbles feed in and how this works. Uh, it seems to be working really good. I've run this for about three hours I never had it miss a lick Kind of interesting to watch, though. Uh, next, I'll be making some uh, more elaborate modules to go on here, you know, with uh, different paths, you know, that will loop around and maybe eventually getting into uh, adding some flip flops and stuff like that. But this is still an experiment uh, in progress, but it's working really nice. I'm very pleased. Look how this is working. So anyway, that's my little quickie module made strictly for uh, testing the uh, lifter. Now I've already started working on the next module. Uh, give you an idea what I did here. Is this will be an open rail type 
where the marble just rolls between these two uh, outside uh, tracks. Now when I cut this out, I left tabs in there so you can see, uh, I guess the tab in there, I don't know if you can see it or not. There. Uh, this is cut in two pieces. Comes in here, around here, up, over, around here, and it ends right here. That's one piece. And then the other piece starts here, and it goes back and forth here, and terminates here. So this will be sitting up like so. Naturally, this will be stretched out. Uh, and we'll see how that works. Now, also uh, on the back side here, I've glued on some strips so that I can maintain the uh, distance between these rails. And the next thing I'll be doing is I'll remove all this center plate. And then I've made up some gauges, you know, that I can use to check the gauge all along the track. Uh, so, there's a few other pieces that, I, that I've made up, and uh, like here's the, uh, here's the piece that will go on the back here, with the entrance and the exit holes. That's as far as I've got on this module. And uh, I've still got to make some more parts and the, the base and all that. So that's where we're at now. Thank you. I hope you like it. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel.